Yeehaw! Remember I was talking about Gary Brick and folic acid? He compares putting folic acid on spaghetti and cereal products, grain products, that supposedly has been going on since like 93, 1993. He compares that to feeding somebody crack in the morning just makes the brain go crazy in the sense that you're thinking about too many things at the same time. I don't know if you'd call that OCD or ADD or DDD on the report card or I don't know what you'd call it. Attempt and deficit the I never give medical advice. <laughs> but I know I don't eat anything like that because when I eat stuff like that, my brain starts thinking every which way sides a Sunday. And I can't concentrate. I know I'm a little Looney Tunes, but what are you gonna do? I just think about all the mistakes I made in my life, like buying most of the stuff that they sell in supermarkets. It wasn't having a good effect on my system. Yeah. I like to buy stuff that ain't labeled, like apples that aren't whacked, apples that ain't been sprayed and germicide. Anyway, going on here. Going on, going on, going on. It's really amazing what the three-letter agency would allow to happen in this country. Yeah. A man walks out in the street and catches a taxi going by. Gets in the taxi in a taxi cab, he says, perfect timing. Did I ever tell you about the time when a friend of mine and myself, I had a old car and we went and bought a meter and turned it into a gypsy cab and we ran it around Manhattan and Harlem and the Bronx for a few days and we realized that it probably wasn't really going to work out. I remember somebody ran into me and I figured I'd be better to say, uh, just forget it, uh, don't worry about it because I didn't want the popo coming and figuring out that I was running a gypsy cab. <laughs> then one night I took a fellow up to Harlem and a gentleman, he was impeccably dressed and he said to me, son, you really shouldn't be coming up to Harlem. You might get rolled, you might get shot, you might lose your life. And that's when we decided I'd give up the gypsy cab. Now don't get me wrong. There's nothing more that I like doing when I go down to the Big Apple than taking a Sunday morning walk up in Harlem. I love Harlem. 127th Street and places like that. Remember one time a fellow was hitching a ride on the thruway, so I gave him a ride. He had a cane, he didn't walk too well. I figured I'd help him out. And he said, would you take me up to 127th Street or 122nd Street in Harlem? I got to see somebody about a matter. He said, just wait here. And half hour went by and he didn't come back. I left his cane right there on the side of the road where the car was, leaning up against a telephone pole. Yeah, I figured out what he was doing. He was making a connection. Anyway, man walks out in the street, catches a taxi cab that's going by, and the cabbie says, perfect timing. And the passenger says, who? He said, Frank Fieldman. He's a guy that did everything right all the time. The passenger says, well, there's always a few clouds over everybody. The cabbie says, not Frank Fieldman. He was a terrific athlete. He won the Grand Slam in tennis. He could golf with the pros. He sang like an opera baritone. He could dance and play Broadway shows. You should have heard him play the piano. He was an amazing guy. He could sing the blues and do rock and roll. Better than Jimi Hendrix on the guitar. Passenger said, sounds like he's really something special. The cab says, well, there's more. 
had a memory like a computer, remembered every birthday. He knew about all the wines and the foods and which fork and knife to use. When you went out to a fancy restaurant, he could fix anything. Not like me, I'd change a fuse and the whole city blacks out. But Frank Fieldman, he could do everything right, every single time. And the, ca and the passenger says, whoa, what a guy, what a guy. And the cabbie says, well, he always knew the quickest way in traffic to avoid traffic jams, not like me. I always seemed to get stuck in them, but Frank, he never made a mistake. He really knew how to treat a woman and make her feel good. He would never answer her back, even if she was wrong. His clothing was impeccable. His shoes were polished, too. He was a perfect man. He never made a mistake. No one ever measured up to Frank Fieldman. And the passenger said, how did you meet him? And the cabbie replied, well, actually, I never met Frank. He died, and I married his wife. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Or how does the cookie crumble? Now, for the rest of the story. I'm gonna hop out of bed. I'm gonna fill my head. I'm gonna jump a train and ride the rails under the blue skies across the prairie. I'm gonna stuff my hide like a power glide. Get some frothering fried black eyed peas. As close as I'll ever get to heaven, I'm making a speed on this old engine number 87. Do you know what you're doing? Do you have any idea what you're doing today? I have no idea what I'm doing. Hey, let's just hang this up today. <laughs> oh, yeah, I found my glasses anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get on with the shoe-do. What are you doing here, man? No idea. <laughs>